Yo, what's going on guys? This is Boy Otaku Heaven coming at you with another manga chapter review. Today I'll be reviewing Black Clover chapter 47. Now, this chapter starts off with Noel had actually called um someone to, you know, help Aston them and wh who popped up? Yami from last chapter. Now, Yami apparently uses a katana from the land of the rising sun, aka Japan, even though Japan's not in the anime, so Maybe there's another place called Land of the Rising Sun, or they just wanted to use that um, reference there for some reason. But Yami's pretty much just throwing off this dude's attacks left and right like he's basically nothing. But one thing that um was actually kind of cool, they said that he actually has another rare type of magic. Seems a lot like Fairy Tale, if you notice the ancient magics in Fairy Tale. I believe it's the ancient magic, or the forbidden magic, so something like that. They have like several... um. Lost, lost magics. That's it. For fairy tale, they had several lost magics. You at one point had to question, you know, the how are these lost magics? Because everyone has them. Everyone has a different type of lost magics, but apparently there's a lot of lost magics. And this one, it seems like there's a lot of um, a lot of these rare magics, such as the black clover, the four leaf clover, the light, um, the light magic that you know the dudes use them. In this chapter versus Yami. Yami's actually got dark magic too, so I wonder if dark magic's really that rare or not. But it's got to be some kind of powerful because he was just deflecting the leader of the White Knights. Demon's eyes like nothing, like nobody's business. He was basically destroying them all. Like all of his attacks, not all the White Knights. Demon's eyes because they could probably overpower him if they were all there. But um, during the fight, he stopped him and told him, you know, let me tell you a story. Back in the day, a long time ago, there was a group of magic knights who were very helpful to all the people in the outer land. And anything that they wanted, they um, they could pretty much provide them. And everyone was happy. It was a very joyous occasion. Everybody loved it. And then one day, the outer land people got to fear in their magic and then tricked them and killed them all. And then Yami cuts them off right there and says, well, I got a story too. Um, there was once a kid who basically got sent to another country and due to culture shock and everything and racism, he, um, basically beat all their asses and became the top dog there. And he's like, are you making fun of, um, King Light? I think it was. Um, basically this light guy is supposed to be like the god of, um, or king or a god of this whole White Knights Demon's Eyes faction because I'm also, I'm assuming they're under their leader, obviously. In every way, including Bleach, because it seems more or less like a cult as opposed to um, as opposed to a group. And so we get a little ba bit of backstory ba based on how we um, why he wants to attack the Black Clover Kingdom and overthrow him, and then replace him with the Kingdom of Light. Uh, we found out now that it's the Kingdom of Light, but um, that may not be the official name, but that's what I'm assuming because he's referencing the leader or his god or whatever named Light that he's really um interested in. So basically we get to see for Yami and him fight. Yami just basically deflecting everything. And Fenrol Fenrol's there. Apparently he got dragged into it somehow. It was pretty funny. Before the fight, Fenrol actually dipped out to um help, you know, everybody escape so they could all get healed up and stuff. And Ass is like, Fenrol, you take them. There's no way in hell that I'm um gonna miss this fight so I have to stay in there watching Yami getting to see all the cool powers that Yami has and Fenrol is actually trying to completely escape he's like Yami goes you better come back for me um you do need to get him to safety though he realizes that um protects him during the middle of the fight lets him escape and then the best part was at the end um, uh, um Yami's sitting there looking at Asa he goes uh so you saw all that right Asa goes hell yeah of course I did there's no way I would miss any of that and then, um, he's like, alright, well now you do the same. So he's making a huge demand out of Astir. Not only has Astir already been fighting for so uh, such a long amount of time, and low on, um, endurance, not mana, because Astir has no mana. He's running completely off of endurance, along with his sword. So, not only is Astir at this weakened state, he is basically being asked and demanded to fight someone of the White Knight's Demon's Eyes caliber. I don't know if this is insinuating that they were so weak that um, this is just going to be like a sub set of people. But um, the White Knight's Demon's Eyes didn't really look like a subset of people, but 
It really could be. There could be somebody even greater than the White Knights doing Zyles in the Black Clover universe that we haven't figured out about. Or either it's just going to be one really short series, which isn't really bad. There's a lot of series that end around 100 chapters, but which is probably where it'll end if it is a very short series. It probably won't be like a 12. It'll at least be a 24, I believe, or a 52, rather. Um, one, of the, one of those two. I doubt uh, it's going to be extremely long, unless it manages to get some kind of hype and popularity when the anime comes out. But Yami, during this fight, um, said something that really threw me off. And so did like what happened was um or the so did the White Knights Demon's Eyes leader, um basically he set up this whole trap to catch Fuego Leon in the previous arc, that we all got to see about, and he had to trick them into it. So Yami calls him out on it. He's like, "There's no way you could have defeated Fuego Leon, and now I'm going to show you the real not the real power of a magic knight." So just how powerful is Fuego Leon? He obviously got trapped in order to be damaged as much as he was. And to the point to where he was almost dead, but there's still a lot of uncertainty about all the power levels of the Magic Knights, and that's um, that's really bothering me a bit because I'm used to at least by this time in the manga to have a certain feel of at least some of the more main characters' powers levels, and you know where just where they stand in the whole universe, and he hasn't um, he hasn't given us anything on that too much about anybody's power levels. And Yami basically just makes child's play of him and wants Asta to do it. And then the thing is, he never actually battled him. So when he says he wants to show him the true power of a magic knight, like um, a magic knight leader, rather, he basically calls on Asta. So he's saying that, you know, indirectly, I believe he's saying that Asta has the potential to be a leader. You know, someone above all the um, all of the others. The best one up under him, obviously. With the exception of um, other candidates that could possibly gain that title later on, such as Luck and Fenrir themselves, and some of the other characters we haven't even seen. So I'm still thinking Luck and Fenrir are some of the higher level ones in there, as opposed to um, Asta. I don't think I really think Magna is that powerful. He's strong, but he's not. Um, he doesn't have leadership characteristics. Neither does Asta, but Asta can obtain them. You can see where his development um, would lead to that. I believe, but well, it's going to be interesting to see what actually happens with Asta and if he can actually hold his own. I think he's going to do a little bit better of a job than most people think he will, but I think in the end, Yami's going to have to save him because, you know, he's already so weak and he's already been pretty much made a fool of by the leader of the White Knight's Demon's Eyes. So, um, overall, this chapter, I'm, I wasn't really excited about it, but I really enjoyed it, like, even though I'm not really showing it. I got, like, a at least a 9 out of 10. Like, Black Clover's killing it right now. I'm loving Black Clover. But that's all, guys. Peace.